Hey guys, today we're looking at Costume Quest, and it actually comes with DLC for PC, and that is called Grubbins on Ice. I'm not really too sure what that is, but I will show you Costume Quest. So this is a casual RPG, and it came out in 2011, so it's a little bit dated, but not too much. I will try and find a fight so you can see what it looks like. So you run around using this main character who I believe is named Reynold, but we can actually just check yet. So Reynold, Everett, and Lucy, I believe these are the only characters you um, get on your team. And you have stamps which give you different attributes and you can only have one at a time. So you can see how you would potentially customize your gameplay. Now for quests, you can see the completed quests on the right and active quests on the left. Most of these quests, I have to say, are pretty repetitive. There's a lot of hide-and-seek ones and trick-or-treat ones, so the gameplay is not very varied, which is kind of awkward to say, but that's how it is. And there are different costumes. I'll show you what these are about. Yes, you can be french fries if you want. And you have creepy treats. These are just cards you pick up when you defeat enemies and you can basically trade them and I don't think there's too much else. Yeah, you can't really select them. So this guy wants a card. He wants street choose creepy treat card. And yeah, I don't have one. He says no press. This game does have a sense of humor which I enjoy. I'm going to just find some monsters. Here's one. Hopefully I can beat him. But there is no penalty if you don't beat a monster. So there is a story to this game and it is that Reynolds twin twin sister was captured and these monsters are basically ransacking the town. Needless to say it's Halloween that's why we are we are wearing costumes. But these guys are for real, I think. So we have to help those kids. So let's get into a fight. The costumes we wear actually determine our move set and how we look in battle. So you can see that Reynold has turned into a transformer kind of guy. And so we have three op well we have two options at the moment. Well, we have two given options basic attack or missile barrage but missile barrage actually takes three turns to charge up before you can use it so we have three enemies we can select I'll just go for the trobe bog bruiser and so we have this quick time event you just press the button in the right spot that it wants the sweet spot and that one you just press the button and so battling just goes like that. It gets pretty repetitive and then they get their turn and you can block them. Everett has a stamp that lets them attack back after getting hit. So again this is a casual game meaning that there's not too much to do in battles. There's no potions. You can run away but it's fairly easy so you don't really need to. I just don't really like the battles, they're all pretty much the same. You just attack and block and there's not really too much um, difference between battles. Enemies are mostly the same. So these guys are basically dead but our missile barrage actually is charged up. So we get this cutscene and obviously shoot missiles. Guardian shield is not necessary to use at this moment. So I won't, so I'll just use my basic attack. The opponents were level 8, but that's not really a big deal. Victory, so we get XP and candy. Candy is the currency in this game, so you can use it to buy stamps and stuff like that. And you can run around and like hit garbage cans and you'll get some some candy. 
and you can talk to people and we might as well try and go save those kids if we can this guy has some problems so I think in the story the kids like the kids I'm playing as were like yeah there's monsters doing bad stuff and then no one really takes these guys, the kids seriously so they're kind of you know on their own and they have to save the sister using their own methods how do I get up there? This is a chest, there's um, chests scattered about. So I'll show you the different costumes. Um, Statue of Liberty, and I th think we can equip them. I don't remember how though. Maybe I'm stuck as these guys right now? I don't really know. And each costume has their own ability, so as a robot I have roller skates, meaning I can run fast like this. And I thought there was a way to switch costumes. But I'm having trouble finding it right now. So I guess I'll just not show you. Anyways, so we have a ninja costume, and Space Warrior. And so these costumes will actually help you out. Like, there's a dark level, so you need to use this guy's um, glow stick and stuff like that. There are achievements in this game, but I haven't really looked at them. I'm still a bit baffled on why I can't change costumes. And the way you save is by going up to the station here which is a phone I guess and as you can see we tried telling the police but they won't do anything that's about it for this game I'll go back to the main menu and I will show you the main story which I should have done first maybe but the starting's not that good anyway here it is by the way, this game is only a few hours long. So we have kids running around doing their thing. Pretty average Halloween. So our mom wants to make us make friends. Our dad's like, whatever. Typical brother-sister relationship, I would say. And typical parents. Haha, <laughs> ten pounds dumber. This is kind of not really that relevant but whatever. Oh, I actually had an option there to choose who was in charge. But I kind of just mashed A. By the way, this game has controller support. So yeah, she looks like a candy. No wait, no, I'm playing as Ren this time and Reynold is the candy, which is why the monsters will eventually take him. So we can just run around. And that's about it. It's just kids looking for candy. And eventually the other twin gets stolen. And stuff happens. So this is Costume Quest. It is going for $15, but it's actually on, St on Steam on sale for half off. So you can get it this week for $7.50. I kind of like it, sort of. It has good humor and I like the art style, but it just feels repetitive. So $15 is not worth it. However, $7.50 is a pretty good deal for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.